General Paxton, yeah. what are we doing in Texas? What do we need to do? If you're the future attorney general, what do we need to do to fix this problem? Uh, Texas has no interest in this issue. <laughs> no, it's, it's so obvious. We saw what worked under Trump. It was called enforcing the very things that he talked about. And as soon, as soon, literally day one, Joe Biden comes out and said, I'm not deporting anybody. And off to the races, we sued him. Within three days, we had an injunction. And he dismantled Remain in Mexico. He dismantled Title 42. He wasted all the resources appropriated to build the wall and let it all rot, made contractors not to work, and all of that went to waste. Catch and release, started up again. So all the policies that worked that brought all the numbers down, when you reverse those policies, all the numbers went up. I, I don't know why the media can't figure this out. But it's really obvious. And Joe Biden is clearly in partnership without saying it, without having a written contract with the cartels. The cartels, this is true. That's true. He has told them openly, bring as many people here as possible as fast as you can. You don't have to hide from us anymore. Remember they used to hide? They used to try to sneak across? That is not what happens anymore. Unless they're like terrorists or really bad criminals, because they even let criminals in. We've, been, we've sued them over that. So this is an administration that this is exactly what they want. They know they're helping the cartels bring drugs in, human trafficking. It is all designed by our own government. And so we are in a war with the cartels, with the Chinese importing fentanyl, and our own president against the United States and our country and my state. So we have to have a new president because this is clearly not working. In examining Joe Biden's immigration strategy, critics argue that reversing Trump-era policies has caused a surge in immigration-related problems. Public sentiment leans towards stricter immigration controls, including revisiting successful Trump-era measures, like Title 42. These measures resonate with those prioritizing law and order, emphasizing the need for robust immigration enforcement for national security, informal collaboration accusations with cartels, even without a written agreement, raise concerns. The Biden administration's portrayal of compromised national security and perceived weaknesses in border security heighten public worries. Allegations against cartels for drug introduction and human trafficking may evoke anger, portraying incompetence or betrayal, posing potential threats. The overarching call for leadership change appears necessary to effectively address critical issues, particularly in border security, reflecting a democratic desire for transformation and opposition to perceived unsuccessful policies.